This conference will now be recorded. Hello and welcome back to our basic navigation training series of videos for DuckQuote. This session we're going to be talking about automatically sizing using our calculation tab, which is found here on the left side of our screen. Now in DuckQuote, there's basically three ways to set the size of the duct. The first is you decide and draw it the size that you want it. As you remember, we choose the size of the duct here on the side on the right. This relies on you to know what is needed and how the flow rates are dependent on the variables involved. Now the second way has DuckQuote do the calculations for you. You'll need to know only two things. First is you will need to know the size of the open ends of the duct, or what we call entry points. And typically this is going to be defined by the connection that you're going to make to the equipment or the port size. The second thing that you'll need to know is the target velocity. The target velocity in your duct system is going to depend on your application. For example, wood dust removal is typically somewhere in the target velocity of 4,000 to 4,500 feet per minute, sometimes a little higher. While fume removal might have a target velocity of around 3,000 feet per minute. And perhaps oil mist can be as low as I've seen 1,800 feet per minute. Again, it depends on the application. So let's use this second method that we discussed, the automatic method, to have duct quote size or calculate our system. To do this, we need to define the drops in our drawing that we created so that, the, so that they match the size of the ports. Now, we don't have anything specific here, so I'm just going to choose some. I'm going to select this section. I'm in edit mode. And over here, I am going to select the diameter. I am going to make this one six inches in diameter. This one will leave at four inches. And let's make this one, let's say, eight inches in diameter. Okay. Now, as you are setting these, don't panic about what DuckQuote has done about the sizes of things. It's going to be changing things for you. So we've now set the size of these open ends to the size of the ports that might be on the machines that we're going to do. Okay. So we've got the calculation tab open, and we're going to set open ends to automatic. Now, you also see drop diameter and trunk diameter are currently set to automatic. That is their default. If you wanted to simply calculate the pressure drop on this system, but not have anything be changed in size, you would simply set these to manual. We're going to leave it at automatic because sizing is what we want duck quote to do. And we're going to believe this is a wood system. Wood dust, 4,500 feet per minute is a good target velocity. So we're going to reach up here and we're going to click calculate. And what you're going to see happen is a screen pop up that lists first the total fan volume, 2,848 cubic feet per minute, CFM. The next thing you'll see here is the fan pressure required. This is the pressure that the fan has to overcome to move the air at the velocity we've chosen. And this is in inches of water column. 5.6 inches. Okay. Now, if you are an old hand at pressure calculations and you want to look section by section, first notice that duck quote has numbered for reference each of the sections. And if we open duck details, each of those sections is listed here with their physical parameters as well as their flow parameters. And if, in fact, we wanted to look at a specific section, let's say number six, we can click and open it up. We can see, first of all, which fittings are involved, in this case, an elbow and some straight. Loss coefficient is there. Velocity is there. The velocity pressure is there, as well as the static pressure. 
pretty much everything that you would want. Now you'll see here, we can print this or we can close it. Typically I close it because I have sized things. One last thing on the details page, note that our summary fan pressure, they actually list on the details page the run that is used to calculate that in order from section three to four to five to six to seven to eight to nine, 10, 13, and 14. And if we close this, we can see that that is this run right here, okay? But you'll also notice the important part is we have sized the duct. What was drawn all is four inch, you can see ends up being a 10 inch at the collector end. So if we wanted to at this point, we could have duct quote create a bill of materials simply by hitting the process button. So let's review really quickly what it is you've just learned up through this video. You've learned how to draw a rudimentary system that has elbows, that has branches, that has drops. Size it, and now you can generate a bill of materials. So to learn more, you really should proceed to the next training video, and that's going to be processing and creating proposals. So again, appreciate your watching. See you soon.